Welcome back to the third edition of the Platinum Pete series podcast interview. And Pete actually came into the podcast studio today to do an in-person podcast after the first two were online. Pete reflects on his first three months at both the system and the hustler squad and goes deep into the kind of things that he's doing for defense and sustainability and explains how he's managed to make $3,000 profit in his first three months. As well as that, he also goes into the details around how he managed to balance his life around his full-time job and his four kids. He talks in depth about some of the little tricks that he's using to maintain sustainability on his accounts and he answers the popular question of how much time he actually spends on match betting each week. And we finally answer the burning question that everyone has been messaging Pete and asking him on his Instagram account, Pete Platinum, are we paying Pete? This is answered throughout the podcast, and we've actually now inserted a link into Pete's bio on his Instagram account where he is actually going to get rewarded for the stuff that he's doing for us. If you have any questions about Pete, or if you want to talk to Pete personally, you can message him on his Instagram account, Pete Platinum, or on his Telegram account, Platinum Pete. As always, you can message us personally on our Instagram accounts, all linked in the description as usual. We hope everyone watching or listening to this is able to relate to Pete's situation and understand how easy it is to make match betting and the system part of your life if you wanted to. Welcome back, guys. We have Platinum Pete, one of our popular followers who has his own Instagram account and is becoming famous every single day, more and more famous. We've got him in person today for a three-monthly follow-up. So welcome on board, Pete. Yeah, thanks very much, mate. Cool. You got here very early. You got here at 10.37 <laughs> when he was supposed to get here. At, well, we were saying 11 o'clock, but he was very early and I had to get the, the house ready because it was a bomb. So. I try, I try to be organized, mate. Something yeah. different. <laughs> told him to wait in his car for 25 minutes. So. Yeah. All good. I, but appreci- I, I appreciate the invite to the, uh, the, the six bed, six and a half bathroom. <laughs> Mansion that you guys run here, it's, uh, yeah, it's impressive. Yeah, helicopter, helicopter in. Or yeah, yeah. JP, JP sorted that. JP made sure the helicopter picked me up. That's good. For him Thank you. <laughs> Lucky. <laughs> but now we've got you in person today. We haven't got anything planned in what we're going to talk about. But I guess yeah. I actually didn't know this, but apparently you're getting a lot of questions um, personally on your Instagram account that you're running, and yeah, maybe we just thought we'd. Obviously, the aim of what you do is to not only make money for yourself, um, which is like clear, we're doing this for you, but also yeah. to now show people that you're a normal guy, you're not some millionaire investor, which we are obviously discussed on the first podcast. Yeah. Um, you're just a normal guy, four kids, um, whatever, whatever, and you've managed to get involved with this and you're loving it so far. So let's talk about, you give us, I don't know, a little summary on your journey so far, what you've found, and then we can get into some of the other stuff that we want to talk about. Yeah, for sure, man. So it's been, um, it's, it's been quite a ride. Um, you know, obviously when I first signed up, um, and jumped onto everything. Yeah. Can we just, can the editor just make sure you <laughs> yeah, include that in hell. old mate with his avo. Sir need to spill that yolk everywhere. That's how you well. know he doesn't actually have the six bedroom mansion because <laughs> he's eaten avo toast in All this, right. in this economy. Um, yeah, but, um, no, for for hustler and system, it's it's been um it's been a pretty insane journey. Um, you know, obviously when we first chatted, you know, I had my doubts about how it all worked, and I was a bit skeptical, like I'm sure most people are. Um, you know, and literally the only hook was that I, I knew Tommy from back in the day. Um, and this is like, mate, this is the first time we've seen each other in eight years. So it's in not person. as though, yeah, in person. Sorry, yeah. So it's it's not as though um, you know, it's not as though he's one of my best mates or anything, and he's like, oh, you know, let's do this and da da da. da. It was literally just. All right, cool. I know you. I trust you. How does it work? Um, yeah. So I mean, yesterday was three months since my first bet, um, which is my first day of, of just hard hard mugging and you know making sure that Setting my accounts, accounts up. Yeah, yeah accounts were all set up properly and and whatnot. Um, and then it took me about two weeks before I started following the tips with the system. Um, and we had a pretty good day on Saturday. Just gone. Um, so I think we were what plus nine, nine or something. Bit, yeah. Yeah, um, and that ticked me to to just over thirty three hundred in profit total. Once all my once all my my bets settled, once I turned over all my bonuses, um, you know, I was lucky enough. I, I put up an Instagram post to show sort of the percentages I was getting. I had a, a couple that won on the the other side of things, so I ended up actually making money yeah, off yeah. the bonuses, which was huge. Um, yeah, and I mean that's probably 
So what's that? That's about 10 weeks of betting 30, what did you say? 3,400 profit, 36, what was it? Yeah, just over 33. It's about 33. So on average, you know, you've been betting for now 10 weeks approximately. Yeah. I don't know it takes a couple of weeks to set up, but you've been following the system for 10 weeks. You've been getting stuck into the Platinum Squad mm-hmm. stuff and you're averaging like about 300 bucks profit a week. Yeah. Currently on a $20 unit size. You've worked up to yeah. a $20 unit size now. Yeah. So I started, the, the first month was just a flat ten dollars yeah but but that that unit size was um was just on the system it's like my my mugging like uh, and i've you know gone back over this like my my account set up and all that i probably have gone way harder than i needed to early on like that first day i went back and had a look at some of those bets and i was doing like i was doing like dutch bets for like 50 80 100 bucks each way and losing like you know eight bucks, like, ten like, bucks. like seven eight yeah, ten yeah. ten percent because i was just like all right cool well this is just what i have to cop to to do it yeah um you know just because i didn't i didn't have the patience or i didn't have the understanding to kind of really look for it i was like all right today's the day let's just go just get it so done. i just i hit the afl that day i hit the nrl that day regardless was, of what there was there regardless of what was there i was just i was just going i put on um you know i think i put on like seven or eight different like two and five dollar multis and you know didn't hedge anything i was just like yep cool here's a you know, here's a same game multi on the AFL. It's going to pay like 80 to one. I'll just put two bucks on it just because it looks good for, for the account, that kind of thing. I think I think that's something that a lot of people do get really caught up up in in the short term. Is like, yes, you need to set up your accounts and the way you've gone about it, there's probably more efficient ways to go about it. But yeah. if you do that for your first two weeks and you're turn, you know losing on your hedging turnover at like 8% instead of 5%, you're probably only going to lose like, 50 60 bucks across the two weeks more than you would by doing it normally right yeah and a lot of people be like oh what the fuck like i'm here to do this you know to make money and so on and so forth but like 10 weeks later 12 weeks later Who you cares? don't remember the extra 30 or 40 that you lost doing that and sometimes people do yeah. spend not waste but they do spend a lot of time and get really caught up in trying to get that that number yeah. extremely low yeah and it does cause people a lot of like, oh, you know, this is taking me so much time. So, and it's like, yeah, bro. But if you know, if you're having twelve dollars on each team or whatever it is, fifteen dollars on each team, yeah. you understand that that two percent less that you're trying to save is like three bucks, yeah, or thirty cents. Like, yeah, this is what I mean. Like, and weird. if you look at it in the grander scale of things, yes, you took the path where it's like, all right, I'm going to lose eight, ten percent, whatever, but I'm just going to set these accounts up. This is what the boys have said. And now you're three months down the line and you're not going there, fuck, I wish I saved that extra $40. Yeah. <laughs> yes, every dollar does count, but it's also like, let's make this as efficient as possible. And yeah. you know, and we know that what we're doing here works. And the longer you're here, the more you'll make. So if you do have to sacrifice a couple of extra percent to be in a position where you can start placing bets to make money, but also to be really confident that your accounts are in a good position, which you are. Yeah. I think you said off air, you've got 26 accounts or something right now? Yeah, so I've got um, about 20 active, um, plus I use Betfair, obviously, for Hustler stuff. Um, and then I've lost three. And, they, you know, and who were the three that you lost? Uh, so Elite Bet, um, I got caught there. Well, not caught, but um, I guess the, the mistake I made there was that I, I had a string of about a week where the only bets that I put on were promo bets through yeah. system um, and then turning over my bonuses. And that was because I was I probably was caught up in trying to find good odds on uh, on the you know Dutching and, and which you can sometimes out. struggle to find on those smaller bookies. Yeah, as that's well. it. You'd look at it and be like, you know, this is a you know this is a four and a half percent loss, but I can get two and a half percent over there. Yeah, so, I'm just, so, I'll, so, like so I'll skip this one this time and I'll leave it. Um, yeah, so that happened. Um, Swift Bet was another one, um, which I think they just did a huge sweep. They're, they're rivaling there's, there's text bets for rubbish, basically. Yeah. They're just banning people for fun. Yeah, that's it. Um, and then the other one that I lost was Boss Bet, and I think I only had Boss Bet for like a week. And literally opened them, had like two or three days on the system. I, I'd only put, I put like 50 bucks in the account, 60 bucks, whatever it was. Yeah. Uh, place like place like 10 bets with them and then they were like some hey, of those small no ones promos. like at the end of the day like it's <laughs> yeah. just a bit of a raffle like yeah. if you if you win a couple a couple bonuses win or they're like yeah. oh geez this guy could be a threat you're just done like yeah. they're so small Straight. the appetite yeah. for risk is basically yeah. nothing so the fact yeah. that you haven't lost any of the major calls which i didn't think you would have but no. to know that you've got 20 that are set up and active running like at the end of the day there's probably like 15 yeah real big bookies that yeah. If you can keep them active, that's where probably eighty yeah. percent of your profit's going to come, and then you can just use some of the smaller ones to, to get their sign up offer and to supplement, you know, a bet or two here or there. So it's that's elite that you've got them yeah. set up within a three month period, and the fact that the profit that you've made, you know, there's almost eighty bookies in Australia that have some sort of sign up offer, so you know, we're near you're a quarter of the way through those. Yeah, 
And on top of that, you're running, you know, quite a low unit size. For most system members, that they wouldn't be greater than a twenty dollar unit size in the first three months, which is elite. Yeah. But it just shows that, and you probably are starting to wake up to. I know you messaged me on Saturday night saying, "Holy fuck, it's just clicked that this is a full on piss take." Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. man, like you're on a you're on a twenty dollar unit size. Yeah. In twelve months' time, you could be on a hundred dollar unit size, yeah. and then you're making five x what you're making now for basically the same amount of time so yeah, which is crazy that's where i'm excited to see you go obviously the best thing is you haven't rushed anything right you say you trust me and you know like what we're saying works and you could easily be like fuck it i've done three months now i'm just gonna go 50 dollars unit size because this yeah. is so lucrative and the fact you haven't done that is fucking elite because I mean, in 12 months time you'll have all your accounts and you'll the, be able the to temptation is always there right and, and look i haven't been perfect and i was talking to jp earlier you know, we were running some numbers about, you know, what it looks like and that sort of stuff and, and kind of did, did a bit of the math on, you know, some of the fuck ups that I've had. Yeah. Um, you know, I, d- I doubled down on a few bets because I thought we were on a hot streak. Um, <laughs> there's a couple of times where, you know, I haven't been able to get a proper match on the bonus and I've just let it ride and, um, you know, that sort of thing. I've, I've put on like a couple of mug bets where I'm just like, oh, no, nah, I'm not going to I'm not going to bother hedging that because it's only 10 bucks or whatever it is. Um, and then I go through and you add it all up and it's probably you know, close to 500 bucks worth of additional profit that, that I've not pissed away, but not been disciplined enough to hang on to. And then, yeah, like, you know, when, when I had a look at that, you know, last night and this morning and I'm crunching those numbers and I'm like, fuck yeah, if I actually- Could have know, four grand profit. Yeah, if I, if, I actually, if I actually did it properly, well, not properly, but if, if I had a stayed disciplined and actually slowed down even more and really done it properly, then yeah, I'd have more money. And then, you know, and then you do, you think about the shortcut the other way and it's like, oh, well, this is, I know what I'm doing now. So, you know, how about, how about tom- like tomorrow, if we've got a tipping day, it's like, why don't I go to $40 and that sort of stuff? And it's like, no, 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 no. Yeah, stop. just remember what stop, you, stop, yeah, stop, yeah, stop, 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 because we could easily, you know, not that it's a common, but like tomorrow could easily be like, you know, it well, could be a losing minus day. Minus five or, or six, yeah. Minus yeah. five or six. And it's like all of a sudden I've cost myself Huge more money. to your bankroll for yeah. no reason. Uh, yeah, for no reason. Absolutely. I wouldn't worry too much about that because that'll just come out in the wash. I'd be yeah. more concerned about the sudden increase that on your accounts. So like, yeah, sustainability wise. Yeah. So a lot of people come into the system and say, I'm going to start on $50 units and well, less now, like because you've got the videos. Yeah. And the videos clearly state about 10 times that we have an X unit size that people yeah. have uh, according to the rules. And we know straight up if they haven't watched them, if they come in and say, I'm going to follow on 100, like last week someone came in and said, I want to follow on a $200 unit size. Yeah. Like, it's not yeah, like work. I've got the bankroll, bro. I've got betting accounts yeah. with losing history and it's like, you all that unfortunately is irrelevant. You can't do that, unfortunately. It's like full on, like high operation to be able to do yeah. that. So for you, you sound like you're hard on yourself, but you have to also, like I don't know how you work, like your mentality and how you function. Everyone's yeah. different from a, from a mental standpoint, but... I know certain people, for example, let's go completely on another tangent, like tracking calories at the gym. Yeah. Some people like Tom, when he's flying, he'll do it, right? Yeah. But uh, you get it. A, you get a girl doing that and she can start obsessing about her weight 24 seven and then completely remove the whole purpose of tracking calories. So yeah. like it's too much for, for some people and the discipline might like eat at you and then it becomes too much of a like a job or a robotic type of behavior and you put too much pressure on yourself. Yeah. So yeah, cool. You, you've identified you you pissed away. I don't see it like that. You've made a couple of mistakes. It cost you 500 bucks no, over no. the long term or three months. That's irrelevant. It's just learning and saying, okay, well, I know that that's a mistake and I'm yeah. next time I see that position, I'm going to make sure that I act differently as opposed to being like, I have to be like 100% accurate all the time. Like, don't worry about that too much because it's yeah. impossible and to I, do I mean, a big part of this for me as well has been like... <clears throat> You know, what we talked about initially is like, how does this work for an average person? I mean, I, w- I work five days a week, yeah. right? Like I've got a job, I've got kids, all that sort of stuff. Um, and so like what Tommy was saying before about like efficiency and, and that sort of stuff. I mean, yeah, early days I was trying to like snipe, you know, those perfect percentages yeah. and like those top top odds and that sort of stuff. And, you know, and I'd go and find, you know, that bookie versus that bookie is like, holy shit, that's a, you know, that's a 2% Dutch. That's perfect. Let me bang, bang and, and away I go. And what I actually found was, um, especially when I was opening up new accounts, um, is that it was hard to get them up to speed quickly. It was like, all right, how do I mass produce this? So now I'm at a point, it's a big question I get on Instagram is like, how much time do I actually spend on this? And so when I'm, when I'm looking for it through the week, like my biggest time sink at the moment is probably on like a Sunday night or a Monday morning, I'll look at the, the NFL and the NBA markets and I'll go through all the games, right? And I'll put all the odds, I'll I'll open up maybe four different bookies and I'll open up and I'll get the odds on 
all the games and I'll put them through the calculators that you guys have and I'll be like, all right, that's a 6% one. No, that's not going to be any good. That one's 5-ish percent. All right, that's a maybe. That one's 4%. All right, cool. So I'll find that game that's, you know, between 3 and 4%. And then I'll go and I'll, I've got my own little spreadsheet that I do. And then I, I have the list of all of my bookies on the, in a column. And then I'll have like team A, team B, and I'll put the odds of both teams. And I'll go through and just go bang, 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 bang. And I'll do team A or team B on every bookie. So then I'll spend, you know, that might take me two or three hours to, to go through, you mm. know, you're talking 20 or 30 games sometimes that you're going through, like all the NFL, all the NBA. I was doing the same with the AFL and the NRL when that was on. Go through all of it. But then it's like, it's 10 minutes of just like, all right, I'm going to open one account. It's like, all right, I need these. I'm going to bet on these four games. So, and I need these four teams. So I'm just going to go bang, 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 put them all on the slip. 10 bucks, 20 bucks, right? I work out how much I need to put in total. And then just break it up on the teams based on what I've got in there. This is on top of the three hours, or you? No, no, no. This anymore. is all this, this is, is all part, part of it, it right? Yeah, so okay. it takes me about three, maybe four hours to, you, to are you do doing that. that. Multiple times a week, or just one, like on, on no, no. That's day? that's just like it's usually just once a week. Yeah, okay. I'll I'll do that, and then through the week I'll put in little yep. little chip bets on races and yeah, yeah. Um, and other sports, and you know, I mean, like today, like there's some basketball on this morning, so I throw a couple of bets on yeah. on a few different games. Um, you know, tomorrow we've obviously got is a tipping day but they'll throw a couple of like back and lay favorites in between races and that sort of stuff just to look sustainable this is the stuff like this is elite to hear and this is when you kind of can understand or see that subscribers or hustler members are like taking it to the next level because yeah. this is not stuff that we teach right this is impossible for us to teach but this is you know what the saying i said in the other podcast is like we teach you how to fish and then you go and fish yourself right yeah and people that want to take it more seriously or people that it clicks for them, they do start making their own spreadsheet or getting a system that works for them. Or they're like, yeah, fuck, there's so much NFL. There's so much NBA on, you know, Sunday night and a Monday in the in the US. So I'm like, fuck it. Why don't I just set that up so that I'm yeah. hammering a lot of bets then? Lots of people bet on the NBA. Lots of people bet on the NFL. Like, it's pretty sustainable to do something like that. Yeah. And it does save you a lot of time. People do ask in the DMs as well. Oh, do I have to be doing like two, three hours a day? It's like, no. no, bro, of course not. No like, way. N- nobody, and the other thing is nobody bets for two or three hours every day of the yeah. week. Yes, people place bets. And like you've said, I'll back and lay favorites here and there. Like that's what people do, right? They open up their account. I'm fucking bored. I'll place a bet, right? Nobody is sitting there placing three or four hours of bets. And lots yeah. of people bet on the NBA every morning and they just place their bets, you know, an hour before the game, they place a few bets on and so forth. Yeah. And if you stagger that across all these different bookies, you think of it from a bookie perspective. I'm sitting here looking at Pete's account oh, here we go, you know, Pete's fucking, he's going to donate some more money to me tonight on, on the NFL, right? Or, yeah. oh, here we go, he's placed a bet on a favorite on a Tuesday on a horse, right? Yeah. That's what it looks like to the bookie and that's exactly what you're trying to do. So the fact yeah. you've been able to pick that up and implement something that works for you while still having four kids, while still working yeah. full-time, Mrs. works, you know, three or four days a week. Like, you're not some bloke that's sitting at home crypto day trading and has <laughs> 10 hours to himself to be able to go and match bet. Like, nah, and you that's why it. it's so elite that you've been able to adapt it to your lifestyle. And that's why match betting is so fucking good. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, to, to you know, with the numbers wise, like, you know, I, it was pretty intimidating at first when you see like the setup and it's like, you know, you want to get 20, 30, 40 bets on an account, you know, don't don't do too many promos. Don't get sucked in. You know, be sustainable. And like like I said at first, that the first couple of days I went really hard, and then I sat back and I'm like, waste how the, money. How the hell am I going to get f- like 30, 40 bets oh, yeah. away on every account? Like I do not have this much money. Like how is it possible? And so that's when I yeah when I worked out and I was like, well, hang on a minute. I don't need to do. You know, we'll use the AFL as an example. It's a you know whatever it is. It's you know Collingwood versus Geelong is the game, and that's you know it's great odds. It's a three percent two way and it's like oh that's perfect i can get that and and i'll look at that and it's like but well, i don't have to do a hundred bucks with sports bet versus correct versus 40 bucks with lads it's like i can do 10 bucks with 10 bookies and then find two bookies that'll give me the good odds and it might mean that instead of three percent i'm taking 3.25 percent. but who gives a shit because now i've just laid off 13 bets instead of two this and is I- what i was literally this exact conversation i had with a platinum squad member on the phone last week and he was going through his two-way dutching setup yeah and he's like yeah i find these like non-favorites that are awesome on sports bet or whatever and he's like i have 100 bucks on them and then i go and have 500 dollars on another bookie on the favorite to cover it off yeah and i'm like dude you could have like i'm like if you're betting those amounts you could have five 100 dollars bets across yeah. five other bookies with 10, and you've got six bets. yeah or yeah. 10 50 and i'm like yeah. and then you've got 15 non-promo yeah. bets through 10 accounts as opposed to 
two accounts and he's like yeah. fuck i never thought of it like that i'm like geez i don't think that's properly explained in the course but like yeah, this is we're, where we're actually do, redoing the whole yeah, this is where because you, you pulled us up like you not bad but you like you said it was a bit confusing and 100 percent it is because it was filmed back in 2020 and yeah all the info is correct. However, it's a little bit like all over the place. Like uh, in yeah, the we could streamline stuff. it. The way, it, the way it came now, across. So yeah. yeah, the way it came across is it's like find bookie A, find bookie B, place yeah. the bet. And it's like, oh, okay, that makes sense. Whereas this is what I mean, the light bulb yeah. moment where they're like, oh, fuck. I, I, I could have I fucking five bookies here and yeah. 15 bookies I here. I messaged JP about a, a multi that I had on the NFL and I'm like, hey, this has happened. Because normally what I'll do with... with um, with a lot of the sports is to, depending on you know who's playing and, and the odds and that sort of stuff is you know if i'm if i'm betting on say five nfl games right i'll put on i'll tip the five winners outright and then i might chuck those five winners into like into a multi as well for like a dollar or two dollars or five dollars depending on the odds and sometimes it works out pretty good by the time you get to like the last game you can have a, you know if you've got time and sometimes lay i don't off. Yeah, you can have a look at it and go, oh shit, I can lay off and, and I'm okay, I'll make a few dollars here. And I remember messaging JP about one and I'm like, hey, somehow this hasn't worked and I've got like I've got oh, two yeah. I've got like two live multis and it doesn't matter what I do, it's a loss. And he's like, Well, yeah, because it's just a loss, right? Because you had Yeah, the, the bookie spread is like in Yeah, the bookie the bookie yeah. spread was wrong. Um and I had to take into account that, you know, I'd had like multis on other combinations that have already lost, right? Oh, That's why okay. I'm down. Yeah, right? yeah. Oh, okay, cool. And he was like, well, how many bets have you put on? And I'm like, I was like, oh, I didn't even think about this. Let me have a look. And I was like, oh, it's like, it was like 12 bookies, 78 bets, like $2,000 worth of turnover or something like that. And he was like, oh yeah, cool. No worries. And, but I sat and looked at that and I was like, yeah, holy good. crap. Like my Sunday, my <laughs> Sunday night, like I've just put, I've just put like two grand worth of bets on. Yeah. Right? For what? $20 loss and, or something? And yeah. And, yeah, loss. And, yeah. And lost like, and lost like 40 bucks across, yeah. across like 18 different bookies or whatever yeah. it was. And I'm and like, that's elite. I'm like, I'm like, who cares? Like w- what difference does it make? Yeah. Cause Wednesday comes around, we'll tip. I'll make that back. And then some it's, well, it's yeah, yeah it's, we're giving a little bit of way here in terms of the, the stuff, but I don't care anymore. Like this is why we, I get, I, I don't care anymore. I don't want to explain why platinum's worth a thousand ninety seven. Like I, it's dude, it's, it's just frustrating. Cause that's what is you're learning. Yeah. Cool. You've kind of worked that out yourself, but there's so much intrinsic fucking little patterns and things that you yeah. it's so easy to understand but people just don't do like most match betters out of our communities one to one ratio that that's what they think is defense yeah. and it's like uh, that's not defense like no. that's just fucking kindergarten literally I can tell you that for free yeah. like it might trigger the bookies algo if you're out of that ratio but the moment you start doing dumb shit like I'm not even going to say that we explain mm. you're going to get banned regardless of whether your ratio is three to one if you just do stupid shit you're gone so yeah. the fact that you you're doing all this extra stuff this is why people sustain their accounts for two years and yeah. the other thing about sorry to jump in but like yeah people like fuck is if i'd pay a grand for that like you've paid a grand for that and whatever the yearly yearly system was 800 bucks whatever yeah. 18 1800 or 1700 dollars out of pocket yeah. three months later you're already 1400 dollars in profit plus you've got nine months left on the system at an yeah. average of 30 units profit so you got on a, you know roughly 270 units left to come through the system at 20 bucks is yeah. 5400 bucks or whatever that is plus you've picked up these skills and knowledge and these the efficient processes that you never would have yeah. like you're going to be miles in front and you have these skills that you can use for fucking 10 years yeah i mean it's the the thing with the thing with platinum and again that's that's another question that i get on insta is, is people come to me and they're like which one do I sign up for? Do I get yeah. both? What does it do? And like most of the time I push them to you guys and I'm like, look, it's not for me to make that call. Talk to these, you know, talk to you guys it about the situation. To start with platinum and but maybe like, you can explain why. Yeah. I mean the, the defense and the setup stuff, like it's, it's things that, you know, I mean, we talk about like what's happened now and we're three months into this. Right. And it's, you know, I'm like, Oh, I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. Right. But I wouldn't know how to do that without platinum. Yeah. Right. Because platinum, platinum goes, okay, you know, you want a plus B equals C right and that's the base level of it right but then when you take the time and you extrapolate that and you go okay i know how to do a plus b a plus b a plus b and it's like well what if i now go a a plus b b what if i go triple a versus plus triple b and then you know three-way dutch you go triple a triple b triple c equals d and then you're like holy shit like you can you can get i mean you know without going into specifics like uh, i've got 20 accounts two of them i only opened a week ago and they're ready to go for for tomorrow's tipping and it's like when i first started they would have that would have taken me probably a month to do it and now it's taken me like a week to hammer out across all different sports racing all that sort of stuff 
yep, I've lost a couple. I've had a couple of like, I've had a couple of messages where they're like, you know, hey, new customer, like, thanks so much for like jumping in. Yeah. Um, you know, you have, you've had a bit of bad luck. Did you want to go again? Put another 50 bucks another in. Spin. Put, put another spin. Put another, put another 50 bucks in and we'll give you 50 more bucks. And yeah. I'm like, oh yeah, sweet. Like when that's, that's happened once, but it was literally because I put the money in and like two days later it was gone. But that's the compounding effect of and if you like, have 20 accounts going, you will get them. And yeah, when and some spring one rolls account around, win, one yeah. to lose and, and, then, and the losing ones you just milk. But then it's just, it's it's crazy, man. And I know there were like, there were heaps of offers through the spring and you know, like bookies were going nuts and I know- Friday night, Saturday morning, ping, 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 your phone just goes oh, bananas. Oh man, it's, it's ridiculous, you know, where it's like promo, 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 deposit, deposit, deposit. Yeah. Um, you know, especially like some of the bigger bookies were just like- Hey, you've already got money in the account, but it's like, you know, it's our spring special. Yeah, Derby Day, do, don't miss out. Top Sport, do, like all of them. They just send them this. 500, 500, like. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm not quite a high roller enough to. to not yet, but, but this match, is what I mean. Like, if you that, look in the free chart, like everyone was going like, oh, I got 100, I got 250, yeah, yeah. I got yeah. 500, I got 1,000. Like these these are just all the compounding effects yeah. of if you operate your accounts in the right way, yeah. you don't have to be milking them for profit all the time. But if you still keep them active. Yeah. These are the things that you get. Like it's it's collateral. You get it for free. Like yeah. just for honestly operating the account. And I mean, yeah, you you know, you guys look at. I mean, I know with the system, you guys work on a sixty five percent turnover. Mm. Um, well, that I was going to be my next question. How how since becoming a lot more proficient in yeah. Betfair, which it sounds like you have, like yeah. that's a game changer, right? Like maybe explain and what's that why, doing for you. That's why platinum. Look, and I'm going to look straight down the camera at this, right? <laughs> Anyone, anyone out there that's got the bankroll to get platinum, get platinum, please. Because the shit that you learn in platinum is crazy, right? So, um, how much you pay you to say that? <laughs> nothing. Just the yes. Oh, yeah. By the way, by the way, I don't get paid. We'll I get that, that asked again. Soon. I do we'll not get paid. It. Well, let's clarify it now because we're going off. Yeah. Well, you want to finish what you're saying first? No, 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 no. I'll, I'll clarify that now because I do okay. get a question. Yeah. So I, I don't get paid. Um, I got a, I got a. 10% discount on platinum, which I'm, I think JP's offered to plenty multiple of people, people plenty of times. Before, yeah. um, Tommy, my mate, actually slugged me full price for a yearly <laughs> for a yearly sub. I didn't even get a discount there. Um, it was talked about, about, you know, look, look, I'm going to do some social media stuff and, and all that, you know, yeah. what is that worth and all that. But I said to you guys, I was like, well, I have to put my own money into this because if I'm if I don't put my own money into it, I'm not invested and I wouldn't do it properly. Yeah. And and that's true. Like as disciplined. That's why as it, we don't. That's why we don't do free trials at the system anymore. Yeah, yeah. Someone DM'd us last week and I said, mate, well, we essentially do do a free trial because if you sub for the first month and you don't make profit, you, you get your sub back. So yeah, but hang on, what's the trial for? Because like you can see our tips for free as well. So yeah, yeah. But that, people, I said that to my missus. I'm like, it actually is a free trial because you're gonna get refunded. And, of and course, people it's a free say, trial. Oh, yeah, but you don't refund their losses. It's like, well, okay, but. but even if you're on a free trial and you followed and we didn't make money, you don't get that refunded anyway. So you're no worse off Correct. if we don't make money in the month. Yeah. But you have and the other thing is, I'm like, mate, we can't give away a free trial anymore because when you subscribe, we have two and a half hours of content that we've put yeah. together. Plus, you're gonna get probably forty minutes worth of. You know, back and forth from either one of our customer service consultants or ourselves. Like, yeah. Yeah. We, we can't give that away for free anymore. Like, maybe yeah. when we were doing it for the first three months, it was just me and Steve and it was fucking a bit all over the shop and all we focused on was getting the tips out and at the end of the day, we'll just focus on profit. Yeah. Now it's so much no. more and you get so much more when you subscribe. We cannot give away a free trial. Like, yeah. we've got five, six employees that we've got to pay. Like, yeah. that's just full-blown money out of our pocket. And at the end of the day, sure, you sub, you give us your 99 bucks. And that's you committing to doing the first month properly. And you know that if we don't make your profit, you get that back. But that's yeah, what that's the 99 it. bucks is for. You need to show us but, yeah. that you're invested in what we're doing because we, we we're investing a lot back. of fucking time and effort into you. Correct. Yeah. And we can't give, we can't take back the shit we've taught you either. No, so of like course we, not. We're going to yeah. teach you how to set up your accounts. We're going to teach you how to turn a bonus server. We're going to teach you how our system works, yeah. how to follow it, all that intellectual property, copyright, whatever. That's not what we care about, but that's going to be implanted in your brain forever. Yeah. So we can't just go, all right. We're not going to part with that for free. Refund and we'll take that back off you. No. And yeah, this is the same it. thing when people say, there's probably been 12 people out of 500 that have bought platinum that have asked for a refund after their first month. Yeah. And most of the time, these people are either two like they'll, they'll go after a week and they'll be like oh fuck like this is way too hard i thought it's going to be easier and they just pull the pin yeah. which i'm sure a lot of people who are, haven't asked for a refund have felt that when they felt overwhelmed and they've gone fuck this is too hard which maybe it's, even it's, you felt. it is it is a heap of information to take yeah. on but it, if you keep going it, it just clicks and it's like with yeah. anything you're not going to learn it overnight but all those people um someone asked like once he's like can i have a refund after the first month i've only made 700 dollars instead of a thousand and ninety seven can i get a refund and i'm like mate, mate. <laughs> only like, 700 mate, as well tell, like, i'll tell you what stick with it for stick with it for another like, month stick with it for another month and then come back yeah i'm like you know all right like yeah cool our, our refund policy used to be 
if you don't make your course fee back in the first month, we'll, gi- we'll give you a full refund plus 500. We've gone away from that now because we want to, not because we want to like scam people, but more so remove this obsession about trying to make money yeah. in the first month, yeah. which a lot of people um, and from other services like promote and we hate that. So we, yeah. we don't want that. We want you to say, okay, in six months, I'm going to make 10K or 20K. Not in one month, I'm going to make 4K because yeah. that's going to be detrimental to your long-term profits. But everybody, yeah. and the other thing as well is like even after going through the free course, anybody can make 4K in one month. You yeah. go and open up every single bookie, Correct. make every single mistake yeah. under the sun, but still turn your bonuses over. You still make 4K. Yeah. Right? And I've, I've said that to mates. And I mean, get, getting back to you know why Platinum's worth it. I mean, I put up an Instagram post on Saturday and it was about seven o'clock where yeah. you know we'd taken the bonuses from the day and I'd just turned them over. Um you know, a lot of the talk in the free chat with the system was like, hey, can anyone see anything coming up where there's a good, you know, and people were putting up, here's a 65%, here's a 67. Oh, this is a 71 between these two <laughs> specific bookies. Yeah, yeah. If you've, you know, if you've got a, a bonus with just that yeah. bookie, that kind of thing. And I'm like, I put mine up and I'm like, guys, I've turned over all my bonuses in an average of 82%. Yeah. Now it's not like that every day. Over the, over the three months, I think it's about 73, 74%. Um, That'll keep going up now. But I was going to say, that's you learning and it's still better than 65%. If you log on to any race on a Saturday, you're going to get 65%. But the thing, but the thing, the thing with it though, is that it's not taking me any extra time to do it. I don't have to, I don't have to go hunting for stuff. Yeah. Because it's like, you know, I, uh, you know, and I put, I put it in the free chat for the system all the time. Like I love a good no tip. You know, it's, I love it when Tommy and, you know, Steve, whoever's putting the tips out for the day says, (laughs) hey, race, race three, no tip. I love it for two reasons. A, because it shows that you guys aren't just tipping for the sake of tipping, right? There's actually some integrity behind it. Like actually saying, hey, there's nothing here worth tipping. We're not going to take the risk. Yeah. But B, it means that I've now got like 35 minutes till the next race. I can go turn over a couple of bonuses in between and I don't have to think about it. I can mm. I can still use that race or potentially oh, another race can. And, and, and turn over some bonuses. Meanwhile, you know, and it's not to say that it's the wrong way. And I, I totally understand if people can't afford it, but the guys that haven't signed up to Platinum, you know, it's like five, six o'clock at night and they're scrambling around. They're like, is there anything good in the EPL? Is there anything, has anyone got, is the Rugby World Cup got anything decent on? What are we doing? And I'm sitting back and I'm like, Done. mate, I've had my, like I'm eating dinner with my kids and I've turned everything, I've turned everything over. I've already made, you know, 80% plus profit off all my bonuses and I don't even have to think about it. Like my next job's, you know, getting all my mugs off during the week and getting ready for Wednesday. It's a pretty logical progression. Like not every subscriber is going to go to Platinum and that's totally fine for so many different reasons. Like we yeah. understand and the way that we've built the system, it is going to be fully sustainable for anybody to follow on a unit size yeah, yeah, of yeah. about 20, 25 bucks max. It's fully sustainable for you to be able to do that. The difference is if you, once it clicks for a lot of people, they're like, holy fuck, like what, what? if I make, yeah. if I'm on a $50 unit size, I'm going to double, triple what I'm making. But it's like, yeah, but you can't do that with the standard knowledge that we provide with you. And it's impossible for us at the system to individually coach five, 600 subscribers to Betfair, right? Yeah. You understand the complexities and intricacies of Betfair. That's why, you know, the Platinum Squad is so valuable. Not only do you get the advanced defense and sustainability, which you're harping on about how good it is, but once you become really proficient in Betfair, your basically life as a match better is that's all streamlined. Like so A, it's different. more profitable, but it saves you so much time. And that's when yeah. people that want to take it, if you don't want to take it more seriously and you're happy to spend a couple of hours a week looking for your sport turnovers, that's totally fine, right? Yeah, 100%. That's what the system's for, for. And it's better than you going off and gambling on your own or punting your bonuses. So you have to spend a bit more time, but the added benefit is you're not going to lose the bonuses and you start making money. Whereas yeah. the people that want to take it more seriously, they progress towards Platinum. I think we've seen like four system members in the last week join yeah, Platinum, which is more, elite. And there's a couple more. Like yeah. that's what we want to see. But at the end of the day, it's not... You don't have to do it. It's not compulsory. It yeah. doesn't stop you from no. following the system. Yeah. But as you said, if you, you know, once you wake up to how beneficial it is, yeah. stop your punting ways. If you save yourself, you know, five hours a week where you're punting, doing your own research, watching all the games that you're betting on, hoping they win. If you invest half of that time, two and a half hours into turning bonuses over, yeah. for those people, that's a huge win. And then again, if you want to take it more seriously, you progress to platinum, you start understanding bet any any sustainable mm-hmm. long term match better has to be proficient in Betfair. That's just unfortunately I mean, the reality yeah and i don't know how much i don't know how jp feels about us you know constantly talking about betfair and all that sort of stuff i mean oh, it I is couldn't care like everyone knows betfair is betfair it, it is it is a big thing but i mean even even having gone through the course and you know i, I spent probably two weeks watching and re-watching the videos yeah and kind of making my own notes and being like all right yeah let me go have a look at like the actual layout on the website and the app and all this sort of stuff like it still kicks your ass if you get it wrong, mm. you know. I mean, uh, I know in the last oh, the last catch up, I was like, you know, I had ones where you know there were two horses with very similar odds. You know, it was like horse number four, horse number five had similar odds. Back and laid the wrong one, nearly fucked so it. easy to do. Got that. That was fine. Um, 
there's been times where like I've put I've put bonuses on and f- you know forgot to to change the setting on Betfair and so it didn't line up and you know they jumped and I'm yeah. looking at it and I'm like why is that not the way that it's supposed to go <laughs> and then you know and then I like I go and check the results and I'm like oh sweet it got done by like 17 lengths like perfect like, you know, yeah just, but if that that's, wins that's just get, gone yeah yeah if it wins yeah fantastic high five that's awesome but it didn't and so you know that goes to like that yeah or the other mistake that a lot of people make is like they'll I've spoken mm. to people like amateur as that are like, I've been learning Betfair myself, but I fucked up and I, you know, I laid the horse and then the odds changed on the bookie and I put the bonus yeah. on, but I'd fucking fucked it. And then it won and then they panicked. and I lost, no, no. And then it won and oh. then they lost, like they drained their Betfair and they lost yeah. like 300 bucks for somebody that has like $2,000 capital. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, bro. And like, yeah. we're not saying we're masters, but we've made every single one of these fucking mistakes. And in that course, it explains if that happens, do this, if this happens, do this. And that's the benefit of learning it from somebody that's done it. As opposed to going to YouTube, watching some guy go, this is the absolute perfect way that it happens. Bang, just do this. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, But what happens if that doesn't happen and you don't fucking know, you start guessing and that's when you get burnt bad. There was a guy, two guys actually, one's a sub currently. um, And I don't think he ended up, no, he did. I gave him a free platinum. He won a comp. Eventually, eventually came into platinum. But he actually lost eight hundred bucks on one race on Betfair yeah, trying to do it himself. Crazy. The course cost a thousand ninety-seven. Mm-hmm. He's lost eight hundred on one race. Yeah. Then another guy who's no longer a sub lost three thousand five hundred dollars during last year for a three-month period trying to learn Betfair on his own. Like yeah. three and a half grand down the drain because he wanted to do it on his own. And I mean, if you want to pay those fees, do it and learn it yourself. But, you, and you do you, you see heaps you see heaps of information fly around right and like yeah, it's it's probably an interesting rabbit hole to go down is like since starting with you guys obviously there's a lot of you know there's a lot of different groups there's a lot of different people who do the same sort of thing there's a lot of tipsters and you know you guys have had your issues with certain people um you know but there's a lot of there's a lot of people out there that just like free chat, you know, like especially like Discord, um, you know, Facebook groups, all that sort of stuff. And I have kind of dipped my toe in the waters and kind of seen around, you know, I'm not subscribed to anything else or anything. Well, but can, it's, I like, it's I actually like, want people to do that because like, then you realize no, the difference. Like, we, we don't, we don't want to like Nazi people, I don't know if that's the right word, but like prevent people from going there. Yeah, and do whatever that. you want. Like we'll tell you what's there and what's out there because we're yeah, in yeah. them as well. But yeah, like there's there's people in the Platinum who are subscribed to other services because they can now apply our knowledge yeah. and skills and combine that with some of the benefits of other stuff, 100%. Yeah. Like we're so not the best of everything. Like. What I was going to get to is, you know, there's a, there's a couple of like Discord chats that I'm in and, and, you know, there's a few people in there that sort of run their own like free tips. Hey guys, you know, I've, I've been following NBA for 10 years. Here's my, here's my tips for the yeah. day. Hey guys, I love NFL. Here are my tips for the day, that kind of thing. And you watch them and, you know, some of them are good, some of them are great. Some of them you learn to ignore. Some of them you're like, hey, this guy's, you know, batting 60% or whatever. He's actually making money. It's not too bad, that kind of thing. But um, the interesting ones are around like Betfair and people that back horses and all this sort of stuff. And you end up with like one of sort of three camps I've found. Like there are people who just won't use it. There are people who are just like, no, I don't want to eat into my profit. Like I'm either going to win or I'm going to lose. Like I'm not hedging if that makes sense like like the the multi guys that you post about where it's like oh you know i've got 10 grand riding on this i'd rather i'd rather win the 10 grand than you know bank yeah. two grand either way whatever it is right then you get then you get people who um again not getting to the specifics of betfair but the way that they will do it is purely based on like the live odds they're mm-hmm. not worried about like the pre-jump stuff right because they're looking to make a profit either way Yep. Right, and they want to make sure that the odds are always in their favor. And I've had a look at that a couple of times and I'm like, this is way too risky for me like to try and... So what, what are they doing there? Yeah, so I've, the, so I've way, seen a couple of groups. It is, it's so essentially a, gambling. There's, there's a there's a but, there's a but, again, I don't know if you want... There's a button on Betfair called Keep in Play, which yeah, I know you've mentioned yeah. a couple, right? Well, we've got a couple of things where you can manipulate. I've, yeah. Like Nature Strip video, explain that. Yeah, yeah Nature yeah. Strip, right? So yeah, and so the way that they look at it is they're like, okay, here's, here's you know, Horse X. It's a $1.85 favorite. You want to absolutely load up on it, and then you want to lay it for like a dollar thirty or whatever. It's, it's keep, is it a keep, leader or something? Keep, 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 yeah, keep, that's what, that's keep, what they're yeah, doing. Keep, yeah, keep, yeah. keep that in keep that in play, and then if it wins, you'll get a small profit. If it loses, you get a huge profit. Yeah, right? it's essentially what I you're showing with the laying nature strip. But they yeah, do right. that like every race. They'll be like, this yeah. horse is this horse is four dollars, but if it, it's a leader, and if it gets yeah. to the four hundred and it's leading, it's probably going to be two sixty in play. Yeah. So we'll back it at four dollars, lay it at two sixty, but. 
Yes, that like in theory, that's, that's fantastic. World. Yeah, of yeah. course. Yeah. And, and I've when what it, misses the kick and so, doesn't yeah. win, and you don't get laid, you lose your whole stake on the. Well, so that I've would watched, have to be part of a system. Like, so, so I've yeah. watched, I've watched a couple of them. I have jumped on a couple of them to kind yeah. of see like, hey, how does this work? Because again, I've never used it before, but I'm like, practice. oh, I kind of know a bit. Fair, let me have a look. And it's like, all right, I'm gonna put twenty bucks on the horse. You know, because again, I want to make sure my staking looks legit. You know, yeah, 15, yeah. 20, yeah. 25 bucks. Course. You know, I'm not going to put two dollars on it as an experiment. So I make it look legit. Go put it on Betfair, and then like, I, you know, it's a Sunday afternoon or whatever, and I got, got the race on my phone and I watch it, and you know, it like missed the jump, right? Yeah, and, and then it's done. And you watch the odds, yeah, and the odds exactly. go from like a dollar eighty to like four bucks, yeah, yeah. and then it's like it's trailing the whole, and it never gets there, and you're like, so I just bet. Like yeah. that, that was just a straight gamble. Like yeah. that, there was no system. They're, they're, obviously, like there, there, there would be ways in which they can, you know, you can do form and manipulate yeah. that, of oh, course. Sure. But your the difference between locking yourself into a profit before the jump and just and after even, the jump is gambling. And that's like, that's the difference. And that's that's the killer is that you can just go bang, put the bet on, you know, put the bonus on, put the put the back bet on with platinum. Like that's no, why in those videos, for, yeah, like JP shows you in those videos. Like don't take you don't have to take if you're somebody that likes the idea of like you're in a huge position you've got a you know you've got massive EV you've got nature going for a hundred k and a hundred to one multi you know in JP's example sure take 20 30 percent pre jump right so that you've already locked in a profit you haven't yeah. you haven't maxed out you know you haven't capped your upside completely and then throughout the throughout the race have those levels right yeah. get to this level fantastic I get more profit that's, this level that's, more profit it's, that, it's that's really, like that's like seven like, you know and again I feel pretty comfortable doing it I'm like that, mate, that's like seven tiers above what I'm doing right now and what I feel comfortable doing or like even the math behind it and that's again that probably goes to more towards like experience you know like I would look at that and be like okay nature strips the favorite I have no idea why like yeah. it's just it's the favorite, but you guys know, like yeah, it's a it's a leader or it's a it's a heavy track or oh this is this is the sort of horse that's you know it's a twelve hundred meter race and the first eight hundred it's going to be six lengths in front before the field catches. Well, so that's the, odds the analytical are crush. side of it, yeah. And, and it's like okay, well, and that's what those people fuck if I know how to find all those those people running those services would one hundred percent have that, and I have no doubt that they will factor in that horses will miss the kick and so on and so forth. But at the end of the day, the difference between locking in profit pre-jump and after jump, whether you have a system method or not, yeah. is you're, you're leaving it to chance. And as soon as you leave things to chance, yeah. it's not, obviously it's not match betting anymore. And yeah. your outcome is in the hands of an animal. Yeah. I mean, but I mean, like that's, that's what it is at the end of the day. It's a like fucking horse. That's, that's why this set dog. That's why this set up between, you know, I mean, that's two companies that are essentially coming together, but it's why the setup works is because, you know, I get asked a lot of time on Insta again, like how much time does it take? And I talked about how much mugging and all that. I mean, like race day for me, it's, you know, the promo list comes out. It's like 20 minutes to sit down. I double check like my balances in all my accounts. Like, is there anything that's too low for me to kind of use today? You know, like if it's, if it's down to like sort of 20, $30, like I might leave it and just mug that away. Um, you know, I might put one bet on maybe that sort of thing. We can use it. Um, you just... I mean, I personally, when I was following, and I've been following the last three weeks, like really low level. Yeah. Um, with a couple of my accounts that I've, because I, off the top, like off topic, I haven't matched bet probably for like a year and a half. So a lot of these new accounts I haven't opened in my own name. And yeah. Like never done them, and so like Bet R, for example, um, and I mean, other companies that don't have promos, I've, I've started up like smaller ones, and it's. I like to deposit on the go because it actually looks good. Yeah. Um, but I don't know if that's something that you like, but it's literally like if it gets to zero and I know that I've got to place a bet on that account next race, I'll deposit like one minute before the race because yeah. it looks like something that a gambler would do Yeah. as opposed to having these $500 top ups everywhere that just looks like so methodical that it's just stupid, but yeah, no, I, each to their own, obviously going back to your setup. Yeah. I mean, morning, for the most part, I haven't had to really redeposit yeah anything um i've made a couple of withdrawals just to to sort of shore up betfair so that i can kind of turn bonuses over a little bit quicker um and you know maybe at a bit um a bit higher odds sometimes but otherwise you know the accounts just keep growing for the most part and then it becomes you know exponential it's why i've gone from 10 dollar units to 15 to 20 dollar units you know 25 sometimes but um yeah i mean my saturday it's like it's 20 minutes working out which bookies i'm going to use yeah. you know if it's a three tip race so i sit there and you know some guys have the spreadsheet so i'll just have you know the venue the time bookie one bookie two bookie three you know in order of preference um five minutes before the jump i just open the apps on my phone tip comes in i'm just like yeah cool bang 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 close them all off how long to the next race 15 minutes easy 
put my phone in my pocket, go back to watching my movie, playing PlayStation. I'm at the park with my kids. Yeah, well, that's the th- that's, like, that's it's crazy so nice to hear this because the reason that I do say in every single one of those fucking voice recordings, I know people would get sick of hearing it. The reason I say take 15 minutes now, take 10 minutes, plan out your day yeah. is because if you're not sitting there and making a day of it, a lot of Platinum Squad members do. They're like, fuck yeah. it, I'm going to sit here. I'm going large. I'm going to turn all my bonuses over. I've got yeah. these other promos that I've been hitting throughout the week. I've got some other bonuses. I mean, I've done that. We, yeah, of course. Get, so there's one in. way to do that, right? If you blank out, if you're somebody that's like, and for example, if you're 18 to 25, you're a single dude or whatever, single girl, and you're like, fuck it, I'm going to blank out this five hours on a Saturday, go ham, and then yeah. enjoy the rest of my week doing whatever I want. That's elite. But the other alternative, and the reason I tell you to plan your day is we're telling you when the races are. We're telling you what bookies to place. So when the race comes around, it should just literally be, like you said, oh, yep, a minute. race one, I've got, you know, lad brokes, boom bet, and tab. So you just go, yep, lad, boom, tab, all my, all my apps are open. Tip yep. comes through, tip, 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 put it away. Yeah. Don't watch the race. Go to it. Next race isn't for twenty five minutes. Yeah, go 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 out for fucking brunch. Man, like you I, can do I, that at brunch. You, you can do races? that. Uh, depends on the day. So, um, I mean, I've and I've told this to people in the group um, and and people that message me. I'm like, life comes first. So, like, yeah. I've you know of the the three months we've been following. I think there's three Saturdays where I haven't even followed. I've messaged in the morning, been like, hey guys, I'm out today. Like. Anyone that's following me on Insta or, you know, like asking questions, I'm like, mate, it's my wife's birthday. We're going out for lunch. Like I'm doing other shit. And how do, you, how do you go with that? Because we've had a number of subs saying, hey, I'm going to bloody Bali this weekend or Cairns yeah. or I'm going on holiday. Like, fuck, I don't want to not follow. I'm, I'm, I basically, I want to yeah. still make profit. And, yeah. and we just say to him, like, can I, he's like, can I do it while I'm doing this? I'm like, like, look, mate, just turn your phone off for the week. Yeah. yeah. Turn it off and 100%. fucking return on Saturday. Yeah, next I mean, Saturday. you're here for 200 Saturdays. You yeah, how have you gone with that three in that terms you of the emotions of, like, have you missed a fill up? Uh, yeah, I missed, I think I missed one. There was one Saturday we went like plus eight or something. I reckon and you've I been it. lucky though, because you've missed like, you, when you first started following, I reckon we went minus 11 on one of the Saturdays. Yeah. And you didn't follow it. Then the next week it, yeah, you jumped yeah. back. Uh, we look, like plus 15. There might have been, there might have been, there might have been a bit of luck here and there. But and that sort of stuff. I reckon you missed steaks day. But I mean, yeah, possibly. I don't, know, I don't know what days they are. Was that like the, fifth, the nine unit one after Yeah, yeah, part? after the Thursday. You, you missed the Saturday after the Thursday fill up, I reckon. Possibly. I, I think know. I remember. But this but, is what but, I say I, in those I, voice recordings it doesn't, as well. But to me, it doesn't, to me, it doesn't matter though. So yeah. I mean, like to give you an idea, like not last week, the week before, was it? So Saturday just gone, we had a great one. The Saturday before that, I think we went... Yeah, it was plus, Derby Day. Minus, minus four or something? No, Six, no, no. There was one... No, it wasn't. It yeah, wasn't no, the Saturday like, before was, we, we had, we was had a, Champions Day. We had, a, we had a Saturday where I think you guys went like plus 10. Yeah, yeah, so yeah it does Champions right. Day. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, Tom went so plus that, 18 in the two Thursday Saturday, okay, yeah. Okay, cool, right. So on so on that Saturday when you guys went like plus 10, I only went plus six because I right. only followed till about two o'clock because me and my wife had booked a night out, a day spa and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, nice. So I only followed to like whatever it was, like the two o'clock race. And then I was just like, I didn't say anything in the chat or anything because whatever, who cares what I'm doing? But... I'd followed up to that point and been like, all right, cool. Well, I'm, you know, I'm a hundred bucks up for the day. Sweet. Like, that's, that's, yeah, that's dinner tonight. Like, ace, sweet. Thanks very much. Put it away. Come back and check it, you know, 1030 that night or whatever it was when we got home. And I'm like, oh, fuck, that had a pretty good, that had a pretty good day. So, but I don't, but I don't sit there and go, oh shit, I could have won yeah. another 150 bucks or whatever it was because, well, like, who cares, mate? I'm three grand up. Like, yeah, this is, like, when to, miles um, up. McLovin, you asked us how yeah. people, he, he, this is a guy that's struggled all along and it's not personal, but this would happen to heaps more subs. He's just been really honest about it. Yeah. And he struggles with the FOMO of he might miss a day and we have a fill up. So he thinks that he's unlucky. Yeah. Um, and then like it becomes a bit of an obsession for him to, to be always having to get the or max profit. Or he misses profit. the first like, half of the day, then he cannot fathom, like he's like, fuck, I've got a spare 20 minutes. I'm going to follow two races. Yeah. They lose and he thinks he's stiff. Yeah. And then yeah. like, he'll come back to us at the end of the day and say, fuck, like, you guys went plus 10 today. I can't like, I'm going to unfollow because I just can't handle this thing. Yeah. And it's like, what would you tell him to, to get over that sort of, I mean, we've spoken to him heaps, but yeah. I mean, for me, follow? it's, for me, it's like I said, life comes first, right? I mean, I'm pretty busy, whether it's work, I've got four kids, like my wife and I post COVID now, which, which saying yes to everything. It's like, Oh, you want to go for a day spa? You want to go to the movies? You want to go on a hot air balloon? Like whatever it is, like let's fucking do it. Cause we spent two years not being able to do anything. So we're just going to do everything. Um, I mean, yeah, if, if it's one of those things where it's like, yes, you're sitting on your couch or, you know, and you're playing PlayStation, you go, oh shit, today's race day and I forgot and you've missed it. Like, yeah, I can understand that. But if you've got things to do, 
like focus on what you're doing, right? If you're if you're at work and you can't put the tips on on a Wednesday, that's fine, man. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Like, but this yeah. is what we're so this is what we're so it's, fucking it's t- massive on. It's tough to do. That's the gambler's mindset. Yeah, hundred like, percent. Yeah. Fuck, I need to get on. Fuck, they're 100%. running today. I'm not doing anything else on a Saturday. I'm not going out with my missus. I'm not going to the pub with my mates. I'm not doing any of this shit because it's Saturday. And it's like, dude, if you miss a Saturday. Or if you miss every Wednesday, like a lot of people do, you're working, you're on the tools. It doesn't matter. And that's why I was saying, especially throughout the spring racing carnival, where a lot of people either go or they have big days for cup day or whatever. And if you're sinking piss and you're having fun with your mates, just fucking don't don't bet. Don't follow the system. You don't need to do it every day. And we're trying to change the way you think about punting. And the way that most people think about punting is, it's Saturday, I'm going to do my tits. Like I'm going hard. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to punt any other day of the week. And it's like, for fuck's sake, like go and do what you need to do. You're probably better off anyway. Like you put your phone down as opposed to following not properly. You bet on the wrong horse. Don't turn your bonuses over. Yeah. You've had six beers. You start punting your bonuses for the day. You're going to be worse off anyway. So just fucking yeah. go and do what you need to do uh, and then come back and do it properly next time. I mean, it's it's a hobby, right? That's that's what it is. And like the people that want to scale up and turn it into a business. Yeah, I understand if you go like full-blown psycho, I have to do this perfect, whatever <laughs> it is, right? Because there are people, I mean, you guys have had people that you interview. Well, we've like, used oh, to be that. Made, but yeah, I mean, but even like some of the other people you've had on the podcast where it's like, you know, I lost 20 grand and now I'm 60 grand up, whatever it is. Like I'm sitting here and I'm like, how the fuck did you do that? Like 60 grand, like holy shit, right? That's Because yeah. to me, that's crazy. It's like, you're obviously spending a lot of time doing this. But like, like even this Saturday coming up, like I've got a, I've got a movie night organized with mates, you know, like we, we sit there and we talk shit about movies and there's a couple of boys that like I've been mates with for like a decade and they haven't seen like half of the Quentin Tarantino films and we're like, fuck it. Let's, we're all going to, no, but this <laughs> is literally, nerds. this is literally, this is literally what we're doing, right? And so uh, we're like, so we're like, fuck it. We're all going, we're all going to your, we're all going to your place on Saturday. Everyone get there at three o'clock. We're, we're just and going, we're just pushing, we're just pushing, we're just, push, up, we're, just push, we're just pushing through the night, right? We're, we're going to be sinking piss and talking shit and watching Quentin Tarantino movies and fucking having a great time, eating and, barbecue for dinner, whatever it is, right? About but, but like, so it means I'm going to have to leave home at like two o'clock. So if there's like a two ten race, I'm not tipping into it this Saturday. Who cares? I, who cares? Right, it might win, it might lose, it might be a fucking seven dollar, you know, fill up, and, and everyone goes, you know, holy shit, KFC buckets for everyone. But like, <laughs> You've started that as well, but like me, no, <laughs> not him yet. But um, mate, um, it's it's a bit of fun, and I mean, I, but but I mean, that's the point, right? Is that like like life life has to come first? Like this is a this is a supplemental thing for me, right? It's it's money on the side. It's it's a hu- it's a hustle. Right, it's that's what it it's is. funny that you say that because so many people always ask, especially JP. They're like, "Oh fuck, if all this shit works and it's so good, why wouldn't you just fucking keep doing it yourself?" And it's like, bro, we've been doing this for ten years. Yeah. We used to fucking sit together. Yeah, like I fucking sat in TAB car parks with this. That's idiot. why I hate him so much. Like, we like we used to fucking put on video like I'd ring him and be like, <laughs> "We fucking said ten forty-five. It's five to eleven. Where the yeah. fuck are you?" <laughs> like we're sitting in like we've done it. We yeah. fucking every Saturday religiously yeah. made a fuck ton of money. Yeah. And you're already like, yeah, this is fucking sick, but I still want to do other shit. And that's 100%. why we're doing, like, that's why we want to do this shit now. But, but like, I get to, so like, I get to sit back with my missus and like, it's, it's a, it's a weird conversation. And, and again, it's an Instagram question I get is like, like, what does your wife think about this? It was a question I got asked once, right? Like, what does she, she think? get her on the customer service to reply to it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but so like, I, so like I sat down with her and I showed her the math and I'm like, look, you know, here's the history of it. This is, this is what it's done. From my point of view, it's not a gamble. It's an investment, right? It'd be no different than if I took, you know, I started with a thousand bucks is what I put in this to start off with. I've, I've topped up a couple of, you know, things along the way and, you know, reinvested a little bit. But, you know, I started with a thousand bucks and I'm like, this would be no different than if I took another thousand bucks and just put it into the, you know, the fucking ComSec account and, you know, bought another into, thousand. Or into, into, or into, or into, into uh, FTX. Yeah, or whatever. Or whatever, whatever gambling, is, man, right? unfortunately. People would laugh, but that's 100%. But that's 10 times more gambling than what we're doing. But yeah, but that's the point, right? It's like exactly. when, when we when we sat down years ago and it's like, oh, look at all this extra income that we've got because we're not going anywhere. Like, what do we do with it? Oh, let's invest it. Let's start doing this. And, you know, like I'm big on I'm big on trading cards and, and that sort of stuff, right? And so I, I like buying flip trading cards and, and that sort of thing. And so, you know, like I used to do that and she understood that. And I was yeah. like, you know, look, here's the trend and this is what I'm going to grab and are you cool if I do this because it's a, you know, it's a bit of money and that sort of stuff. But I mean, from from her point of view, I mean, I look at it and you know, we talk about how much profit I've got in the accounts and all this sort of stuff, but it means that I get to sit back with her and I get to sit back with my mates sometimes and be like, hey, I get to do this cool shit now because I've got this disposable income you know, essentially at my fingertips. I'm not, I'm not, you know, going to my account and being like, oh, sweet, I'm going to go on a spa day. I need a thousand bucks out of my account for the weekend. You know, let me just withdraw it. But it means that I can sit there and look at the money that I do have and go, hey, I've got this 
extra source over here that is just like constantly going up and up and up. And yeah, if you miss a week, cool. It doesn't go up as quick as you want it to. Or if you miss half a day, or if you miss the winning morning and you jump on, you know, we go whatever it is, plus eight for the first five races and then minus five for the last five races. And it's like, all right, well, that sucked, but it's no different than... Well, next time you, know, you do that, you'll get the plus eight and miss the minus five. Maybe. Like it all comes out in the wash. Like yeah. that's what that's why... If you just look at it, like, that's why we keep saying, remove the date. Like, don't worry about the daily result. I'd love to be in a position where we could run where it's too transparent with our results in a sense. Like, I wouldn't even, I don't even want a fucking daily result. I would love to just have every single, like, this is what we had at the end of the month. This is what, because people get so fucking fixated on, oh, I want to fill up today. And I know that they're getting excited. And we used to be so fucking excited. Me and Steve spoke about in the last podcast, like, every Friday we'd go to bed, like, fucking pumped for Saturday. Like, this is so good. Like, it's our money making day. So we understand that to an extent, but like we don't care if we don't make heaps of profit on one day. We just yeah. know that if you're here in six months, it's, you'll have 150 units. It's 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 a grind without a grind, all right? There's that's what it is, right? It's slowly. I mean, and I'll use I'll use an example. You guys had um Danny Danny Page on here, um, and interviewed him about his service and all that. And I actually reached out to him and I was like, hey mate, how does it work, right? Like, let me this is me sort of dipping my toe into like other services and all that. And he's like, yeah, cool. Here's my page. Here's the results. Here's how it works. You know, tell me what you reckon. And I have actually jumped on, right? And I, I track it completely separately from from yeah. this, right? So I jumped on. And oh, so that's not in your three K. Uh, no, no, no. I yeah, track right. I track that separately. Yeah, nice. nice. Um, yeah. So I because I wanted it, I wanted to be able to, I guess keep yeah, this, keep, keep this pure. That's fine. Right? Yeah, that's fine. So um, so I jumped on that, and like you, you want to talk about roller coasters, like that is yeah, yeah, insane, right? So at the at the moment, I think we're about twenty units up on the on the season. But like at one point, like so I went, I started there again. I started a ten dollar unit, and I think we went like nine from twenty three or something on our bets, right? So just under fifty percent. And I'm like, yep, cool. I understand how this works. I get what he, I get what he's trying to do. This is positive variance this is, or, yeah, or yep. negative variance. Yeah, like, whatever yeah. it is. Right. Let me let me up the unit size because I've got bankroll there, and we'll do that in a while. Oh, you go that. right. So I put the bankroll up, and then legitimately we went like three from thirty three. Yeah, you got to be right? careful with the and volatile so, ones. So. But I didn't understand the volatility yeah, yeah. of it, right? I'm seeing it's like it goes up, down a little bit, up and down a little bit, right? And so he put out his results. And he's like, hey guys, you know, today was a today was another tough one, but we're still sitting like plus 12 units. And I'm looking at like a negative balance and I'm like, what do you mean you're up 12 units? Like, I'm, I'm, like, I'm, like I'm down. Like yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm like four or five units down. Like what the hell are you talking about? So I went to him and I'm like, how are you tracking this? You know, because again, there's a bit of fluctuation with the odds and all this sort of stuff. Like he'll post like an odds range yeah. of what you want to get the bets on at and that sort of thing. I'm like, how are you tracking this? I know I've had a couple of bets where I didn't quite get the odds that you get and all this, da, 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 da. And, you know, we had a, we had a really good conversation. It was just about zooming out. It's like, okay, what happened? You know, what's changed? And it's like literally the variable was at the moment that I increased my stake, yeah, we went correct. down. But then we had two days, we, we just had like two days on that where we went like six from seven. And, we've, and like for me personally, I've gone from being like four units down to being like 20 something units up. Right, and it's insane. But then, you know, and as I said to my missus, she's like, "Oh, that one sounds like it's doing like it's you know, yeah, it's, it's pretty like good. Relax. Like, it's like gonna, the it's next gonna, next week it'll go one from and, ten. And I'm like, yeah, but if you ask, I'm like, if you ask me on Friday, that could all be gone. But yeah, then, yeah. but then on Saturday it'll be doubled. Right? Yeah, so that's the thing. And that's like, that's a roller coaster, man. Yeah. Like the people, he's got a chat group for that, and like there are people in there that lose their goddamn minds. Yeah, yeah. on, like, us, the, on the daily results. Two years ago, we, we literally would have a day where we'd go minus five, and everyone yeah. would be literally abusing us. Yeah, yeah. Like, what so, the fuck is like? How is that? And but with Danny, it's like you need to understand. And we've said to, I know we've spoken to you about it, and a couple other of our subscribers that are with Danny, and we've spoken to Danny at length, and he's like, this is like I am looking at this. At, as a season like Humongous. from, from yeah. the start like yeah. i know i'm going to place a thousand bets yeah and probably 90 or 100 of them will win but because yeah. of the, you know the way i'm the way that he's here yeah, yeah the way i'm staking it, the way i'm works. looking at ev i yeah. will i'm expecting to be you know 26 27 profit on turnover yeah. come the end of the year yeah so he's like yeah look and i spoke to him on third uh last week on thursday and saw yeah. his graph and he went to like, he was like plus 30 at one stage and he went to like minus two yeah. and now he's sitting at like plus 29 again. And yeah. he's like, yeah, the variance is about right. He's like, if you zoom out on my massive graph, yeah. you'll see but that this happens. It's he's meaningless. so like nerdy to the point of like smart where yeah. it's just like people, I think, lose the, the interest in it because it's too serious. And I've yeah. never seen anyone bet with less emotion. 
Yeah, like correct. he's That's so what I mean. statistical. It's just, yeah. it's, and it's 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 what I said to him, and it's but it's a lesson I've learned from you guys. It's like it's just math. It legit. Right? So you you need to like switch that off. And again, to to bring it back to what we're talking about, you know, these people that freak out because it's like oh, I missed half a day. Or da, da, da. It's like guys, it's just. But he's math. so he's like so he's, smart and obsessed with his math that he like won't even bother trying to explain it. Like to the point where he won't care. He'll be like, mate, I know. That at the end of the season, this is how it works. So yeah, if you it's interesting follow, though because because see, I've I've had I've had some conversations with him where I'm like, you know, look, I've come across to you from Hustler, and I'm you know like he like he puts his odd, odds range out. You know, it's like something I just feedback I gave to him. He puts his odd ra- odds range out, and he tracks it at the maximum odds, right? Because yeah, okay. that's because that's what he got, right? And I said to him, I'm like, dude, like I don't know what you're staking, but sometimes it's really fucking hard for us to find these odds that you've put out there. Like we had one. We had one the other day that was like, it was an absolute massive long shot, but he's like, the EV's, you know, amazing. And the, the odds that he found were like 40 to one, right? And I'm looking everywhere and the best I could find was like 23, something like that. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, right. dude, it's impossible. Even with the bookie that you said this was at. Yeah, it's, it's not there it's anymore. It's gone. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what you staked on it, but if your stake was big enough, you've killed that yeah, market, yeah. right? Like, I don't know how you track this, but your results are not going to line up because nobody's getting this. And he put a poll up in the group to be like, Hey everyone, on this bet, can you tell me what like odds range you're getting? And there was like one person got the same bet as him, and okay. everybody else was way down. Yeah. And so, you know, I said to him, I was like, look, this is just from a customer's customer's point of view, a bit of feedback. I'm like, I know that you know the way that you guys track it is you get like an average from the group. You kind of track it at the minimum. And look, that's not. Well, a it's huge, much easier because it's, it's such it's, a yeah, popular it's, it's, and it's, so close to the. the yeah, yeah, yeah. It's much it's much easier. Go, yeah, yeah. But um. But it goes back to like that roller coaster of variance. Like if somebody jumps in on on a on a service like that and they look at it and it's like, oh wow, this guy's like forty units up. It's like yeah, but he, you know he's forty units up. Most of us are like twenty five units up because he's got like the absolute max odds with every single bet because he's put them all on like an hour before anybody else and he's staking whatever ridiculous numbers he's staking. And that's that's not a criticism or anything like that. But it it goes back to. You know, the, the people that look at these sorts of services and they look at what you guys do and they go, oh, I have to follow every single thing, every single time, every single way. Otherwise, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to be 700 units up in three yeah. years time. That's like, well, you, but you don't have to be. Yeah, like if in three years time, you're, that's the beauty. you're 500 units up or 300 units up. It's like, as you guys say, like, mate, if you've had a Saturday where you didn't lose money, you've won. Correct. Like, you're all good. Every punter, like, <laughs> honestly, if you sit down with most punters in Australia before they start punting on Saturday... And they'll, they might joke about it, but like, what's a good day for you? And they'll be like, oh, if I've got whatever I deposited still in my account, that's a good day. They might go, ha, ha, ha. But they're like, no, that's that's real. Like, if you don't yeah. lose whatever you put in, that's a good day. So yeah. I think something that's awesome about the way that we, without tooting our own horns too much, is like our results are not only really, really transparent, but they're also extremely fair. As you said, if we back a winner or whatever, we'll ask in the group. And if some people are like 480, 480, 440, 440, 420, 410, 420, We'll be like, fuck it, we'll put it in at 420, whatever. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, we don't. our results aren't there so that everybody else from the external view looks at our results, goes, these guys have made fucking 50 units profit this month. That's elite. Yeah. We want our results to be what our subscribers are actually getting. Yeah. So if all of our subscribers are getting 440, 460, we're recording at 420 for the couple guys who got 420. Yeah. Your results are going to be better than what show on our spreadsheet. Yeah. And that's the value that you get from our service. We don't care if from the outside, we could have three extra units profit this month yeah. if we retra- if we tracked at the highest odds every single time so that everybody looks at us, fuck, they made 38 units instead of 35. Yeah. We don't care. If all our subs made 38 and our official results say 35, that's way better for us yeah. and way better for you guys. Same reason we track at 65% bonus turnover. Yeah. Yes, half of our subscribers are getting 70, 75% and they're going to be getting three or four extra units a month. But if we track at that, and then people join and they can't get those results or they can't get that bonus turnover, they feel inadequate or they feel like it's not going to work for them or yeah. they're not doing something right. And we don't want that in yeah. our community. So that's why it's, if we track at the lower, it's an easy track bar to the clear. lower bonus turnover, who cares? Yeah. And if everyone's getting better, that's it's, even better for them. It's the same with the bonus back. Like you guys, and we see it in the, like the free chat all the time is like, you know, there'll be, there'll be a race and we'll, we'll have two, maybe three tips in the race. And it's like, you know, everyone's like, bang, we got the winner, you know, great ride, da, 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 da. And then someone will post a question. They'll be like, did where, come where, where did that horse run? Yeah, yeah. Well, I love that though. I <laughs> because, just fucking love because that. Because it's like, it's like, oh, okay, you had it on a bookie that had like back to fifth or Good back to you. sixth yeah, or whatever. But, and it's but like, how sweet, mate, like you've, even after a you've winner. Just picked, you've just picked up an extra 65% yeah. that none of us got. Even after a winner, <laughs> yeah. they're like, they don't, like, fuck yeah, we had a winner, but they're like, oh, can I pick up? Like, am I going to, like, is my bottom line going to be better here? Did that, yeah. you know, did that other one run fourth or fifth? And someone like fifth, you're like, you fucking beauty. Yeah. And that's a, I love seeing that. Yeah, that's awesome. All that, like, I love that too because. I'm a very, uh, I like the general chat about investments that probably people don't realize how much of this stuff applies to other 
decisions that you make in life. Yeah. So for example, when you go next invest in the stock market, since you've probably been in our community, you'd probably think about things differently, I'd like to think. I don't yeah. know, you probably were pretty good investing before this. But what what you're gonna learn from like you wouldn't pick this, but what you're gonna learn from doing this stuff is you're gonna learn about money and staking and decisions and upside downside and considering why something yeah. might be a scam before you invest in it. All this stuff is not really spoke here. I was waiting for that to go. Not really spoken about. I mean, the, 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 the word that you use there that I think is huge and that we don't oh, yeah, see. No. I don't see in other, um, I don't see in like any of the other chats or communities is about staking. So many people will like throw out and it's like, hey guys, here's my, you know, here's my yeah. five tips for the day. I hit five it's like. And it's like you know, here, like here, you know, here are my here are my five tips. I want this guy on the overs, and I want this team, and I want, you know, these these two guys to both hit points and rushing yards or whatever it is in sports, or you know, these this horse is. Well, this is, is my best bet. Like, yeah, this is this is yeah. my best bet for the day, and it's like that's that's great. But it's how much pay, do it's, I have on it's, it? It's paying a dollar thirty five. Like, am I supposed to do I just chuck like five bucks on exactly, this? Exactly. Like, am I supposed to put a hundred bucks on this? Like, what? Like what? Well, this on those it. five bets, how much do you expect me to like? put out there correct and this is the thing that we were we went on a live the other day with the guy from the sbu guy we've spoken about we don't really want to keep talking about it but i just want to focus on the the fact that a blatantly obvious thing that is literally forgotten about is staking yeah but not only staking it's literally just profit and loss long term so he's quoted to have said i've backed the last two melbourne cup winners i've won two melbourne cups and that would be like me saying, hey, I'm going to get my phone out from fucking 2021 on my sports bet account and I hit a winner. Yeah. And? Yeah, what like, happened to the other 100 the rest bets? of the time? Yeah. And like, this is like, unfortunately, like the common punter doesn't even look at the profit and loss long term. Yeah. All we care about is your profit and loss. So when we see someone saying, hey, what did that horse come that just didn't win? Did it come fourth? Because I get an extra 65%, which is 0.65 of a unit on a bonus. Yeah. Bro, that's, that's why I think it's so elite. That's yeah. plus fifteen bucks for them at thirty dollar or twenty five dollar units or whatever. Yeah, that's fifteen dollars on their profit and loss. Yeah, and back in my pocket. We don't care about whether we hit ten winners for the day. On the weekend, we hit twelve races. We went plus nine point four nine, and we hit five winners. One of those mm. winners was one point five at four eighty, which I don't even know what the maths is. It's like plus five or something for that race. Yeah, for that tip, maybe so, more. Yeah, so half um, the profits come from one. Race. Correct. So if you miss that, fair enough. You think you had a shit day, whatever. You can go plus four or whatever, and you think you feel unlucky, but that that's rare. Like we're not going to rely on one horse. We're never yeah. going to put two units on a ten dollar and we get plus yeah, eighteen you, for yeah, that tip. Yeah, but you're still plus four for the correct. Day. Correct. You so made money. <laughs> all we care about, and why why we love the fact that we're teaching people about investing is. Everything is focused on profit and loss long term. Yeah. It's not about how much you, you hit on one winner. And the, the more you can think about the long term of profit and loss and literally addition and subtraction, yeah. the better you're going to be with money in anything. Yeah, 100%. And more punters need to think like that. I know we're going to wrap this up real soon, but something touching on that point, one of the subscribers on Saturday night Literally, he's quite new and he was like, I cannot believe he's a Platinum Squad member. And he's like, I can't believe how quickly the day can turn around yeah. from like one tip or from yep. a couple tips. Yeah. And he's spot on. But this is why staking and turning your bonuses over is so important, right? If yeah, you follow huge. all of the staking properly, we know that we have an edge. And we also know like we're limiting our downside without capping our upside at all, right? So that's part of it. So when we are sitting at minus two, minus three, it's probably not as relevant now, but six months ago, everyone would be like, fuck, this is such a shit day. This is so bad. Like, I can't believe this is happening. But now people understand, like, you're sitting at minus two, minus three. You get, if you get two of the next five winners, like, we'll be sitting yeah. at, like, plus five. And well, that's why following the staking is so Saturday? important. I don't think you no, listened to it. After to the it. race, did you listen to it? Uh, I don't Fucking remember. flat. I put in, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, a really good one where I was talking about upside, downside. Literally that. I said, for the day, we, we, we like, first, I think we hit, we missed the race, uh, missed on the nose on the first race. Yeah. Hit a winner second race. We're sitting at like plus three or plus four, and then we missed like three in a row. But, but we, we only went to, twice, I think. Yeah, I'm we sorry. only went to minus up uh, to plus two. So from plus three, we've missed three races in a row, and we went to plus two. Yeah, and it's like we've we've literally not hit a winner for four races or three races and lost yeah. a unit. Yeah, and yeah. that's like you you can't tip. Like if we hit three winners, we're not hitting fucking, we're not going to profit one unit. Yeah. We're going to profit seven or six or 10. Yeah, so, true. and then the next horse wins, we're plus four. Then the next one hits, we're fucking plus 10. Yeah. Upside, downside. We, we can but that's also we why lose. we don't like change our staking. There's no emotion because yeah. we know that with our edge, like we're going to be making profit in the long term. A lot of people, especially when they're new, they might be like, oh, these guys have had, you know, two units on a $2.40 favorite 
and now they've backed something at four dollars eighty or five dollars. It says one and a half unit, but oh, I might just have half a unit on it. I'm not so yeah. sure about this tip, or don't know if I like this horse. Don't know how they've picked that. And it's like, just follow. Like, yeah. please just follow because you know we've been doing this for two years publicly. We, as I said, we went to bed every single Friday night for a year and a half, thinking it was fucking Christmas the next day. Like, so excited, knowing how much money we're gonna make. So, yeah. like, just back us in, follow things properly, and that's why it's been so nice to see. It's like five ten in the community. The chat almost never now complains if we're sitting at yeah. minus three, minus four yeah. during the day. No one complains. Like it's yeah. so fucking sick to and see it, that. I think that's probably, I guess, my as we as we wrap this up, that's probably my final word on it is the is the community. I mean, even when I first started, yeah, you had you know, there were there were some people that were just like, oh, hey guys, I'm jumping on today, and then we'd start losing and they'd be like, Okay, it's my fault. I'm the bad luck guy. Yeah. There'd be people that are like, watch this, I won't I won't tip on Wednesday and you'll, yeah. you'll you guys will feel like you guys, like, are, yeah, you guys are going that, profit, that, da da da. That shit and like that that, that, that chat's gone and it's become I mean it is a bit it is a bit memey and it is a little bit, you know, tongue in cheek. But it's like, you know, when's Phil getting here? When, you know, how many KFC buckets have we got on all But it's more positive. And it's also like you, I can't I can't follow today, but good luck. I hope you guys are gonna win. But, and yeah. taking the piss out of the fact that they're knowing they're gonna win. But no. it's not it's not just that though. It's that everybody's everybody's in everybody's embraced it. I mean, we don't know each other's names, right? Yeah, we we, on we, the don't, same page. we don't but everybody's on the same page. Everybody's embraced it, right? It's like we, you know, even within the group, it's like we take the piss. You know, are you Team Palmer or Team Palmy, right? Like <laughs> we take that. we take Palmer the piss out of each other. But it's all but it's all done in fun because it helps the day get rolling. And it's like, yeah, if we don't tip five winners in a row, it's like somebody will jump in there and be like, "Sorry guys, Phil just texted me, his car's busted." Yeah, yeah like, he'll be he'll be he'll be here and he'll be here in half an hour. As like, opposed to saying, thing. "Fucking hell, we just missed a hundred percent." But that's dumb balls. Like, but that's the best part. And like yeah. you know, I get people message me on Insta and all this, and I said when I started this, I am not a social media guy like at all. But like, I love jumping in on the chat. I love, you know, when people flick me a question about like, hey, what should I do here? Or, you know, how did you set this up? And, you know, I'll help them where I can. Most of the time I'll refer them back to you guys. But like, it's been huge. Like, it's not just a, hey guys, here's my money. Tell me what to do and make money. It's like- JP no, like- said it perfectly perfectly though. Like to sum it up, it's because you all know you're going to be making money. Yeah, so it's so much easier to have a laugh at yourself yeah. or be like, oh, you know, we haven't had a couple of winners, whatever. Because you know that in this in controlled environment- Yeah. You not only get to have the thrill of riding horses if that's what you like, but you know you're going to be making profit. So you can take the piss out of yourself. Oh, we've got 97 yeah. units profit this spring. Fuck, we're sitting at minus four. You know, fucking Phil's yeah. car's broken down or whatever. Like, instead of going, this is so fucking shit, it's just like, oh, who cares? Like, the longer we wait here, we're going to be making profit again. And I think that yeah. is a huge change and something that's so beneficial for people that are a massive gambler. If you get in a community where instead of everybody's getting negative or saying they're going to fucking load up on this or pike in the last, the community is like, you know, stick around. Anybody writes, fuck, this sucks, we're on a cold streak. Yeah, You'll really get like 10 people going, this is not how it works. Remove Back that up. mindset. Don't yeah. send tips in here. Like, because they just know. And I think that's fucking massive. But it's all you done. You obviously benefit from yeah, that. I mean, it's all done in a positive way as well. It's it's not like, you know, if someone if someone's new and they jump in and they, you know, they, they do put a negative post in there, there's not like the attitude of like, well, you know, get the fuck out. Yeah, of like course that. not. It's like, no, mate, stick with it. Stay tough. Yeah. You know, I mean, I've messaged people privately and been like, hey, look, if this is hitting you, drop your unit size, message Tommy, message JP, you know, talk to them about your situation. You might need to just sit off for two weeks and build a bankroll and, you know, and go again. But yeah, I mean, it's we're three months in. Um, I mean, we'll probably sit down and do another one of these in another three months for a six-month catch-up. But yeah, if people want to yeah, tag we'll, me on Insta or, or yeah. you know talk to me on the Telegram group or whatever it is, I'm always here for questions and along the way, and I'll, I'll keep putting updates on sort of when we hit certain milestones and. Yeah, well, what we've all, I think what we said we're going to do is we'll, we'll put some sort of uh, link in your Instagram bio now or something and. Yeah, like, well, I'm fairly happy with people coming across to you and some people may prefer to speak to you as a, as opposed to speaking to us because you've done it all yourself yeah. and that's something we're focusing on pretty heavily now at the system. Like, we're getting customer service guys to help us who have been subscribers for a year, who yeah. understand it, who can relate to, oh, yeah, I remember when I was setting my accounts up as well, man, or I remember when I wanted to go to a $50 unit size straight away and I'm telling you that if you don't, and do this properly like it'll work so yeah. i would love for people that are interested in platinum or the system to speak to you first because yeah. it's more relatable they're not going to hear the same like me and jp have told a thousand people the exact same thing over and over again and though it holds true they might prefer to hear it from somebody that they can relate to more which i think yeah. will be sick so yeah hit him up pete platinum on instagram what's your what's the telegram name uh, uh platinum pete platinum pete, pete. yeah so, so your username yeah, we'll put, uh, them, we'll put them on yeah, the screen. Pl- maybe pl- link, them, bl- link them below we'll as well here, in the description. Somewhere, yeah, the somewhere course. there. But yeah, like if you want to speak to somebody who's pretty new to it still and like understanding the benefits of it and just seeing where it can go, has a full-blown normal life for, you know, 
not sitting home myself and JP that like you know, <laughs> me and JP don't do anything. We just make TikToks apparently. So yeah, if you want to, re- if you want to relate to what else, what else are you going to do when it's just the two of you in a it, six bedroom, six <laughs> half? Get, get you can only ref- you can only refuel the helicopter so many times. So hit up hit up <laughs> Plat- hit up Platinum Pete. I'm looking forward to the six month check in and obviously the sorry Riley and obviously the annual check in as well. But yep. thanks for coming out here today. It's been sick. I think people are going to get a lot out of this and hopefully more and more people see it and change the way they think about punting and ultimately start stop losing and start making a profit. Yeah. We'll leave a Isn't code it? for everyone. Pete ten. Yeah, Pete ten. So that'll give you a system um, 10% discount on lifelong sub on a monthly or more. Um, and then we'll organize a code to be putting in Pete's bio, yep. which now he'll be paid for it. So he'll give him a little cut of his, of his yeah, subs that he gains. So there if you go. want to support Pete <laughs> instead of us, even though go we're still his, getting paid from it. Go to his Insta. Correct. We launch a little uh, affiliate full, full discount. Blown, full blown ins- influencer now. That's, That's it. it. So you we are looking to do that more and more. So Start um, doing like bikini shots. And <laughs> if you want, you can do that. Just make sure you don't associate here's, that with that brand. Here's a typical, <laughs> here's a, here's a tip, here's a typical day at the beach on the system. The Tom know? Waterhouse special. It's just, it's just me. It's just me and the boardies, you know. Uh, to be honest, I'd love that stuff. That's fine. Um, so put it up if you want. Like Get on TikTok Wrap and post up. that. It'll no, jeez. <laughs> All right. No, it's been good, guys. See you in a a few months. No worries. See ya. Yeah, can we just, can the editor just make sure you (laughs) include that in? Old mate with his avo. Sir, need to spill that yolk everywhere. That's how you know he doesn't actually have the six bedroom mansion (laughs) because he's eating avo toast. Can the editor put together a reel at the end of this of just every time JP was eating his toast? Oh, he will for sure. Like, just zoom in on him going, I was so, I was, I was trying not to focus on it so bad. Yeah, fucking oh, it was my first day of, of just hard, hard mugging and, you know, making sure that Setting my accounts, accounts up. Yeah, yeah, accounts were all set up properly and a pretty good day on Saturday, just gone. Um, so I think we were, what, plus nine, nine or something? Bit, yeah. Yeah. Um, once all my, my bets settled, once I turned over all my bonuses, um, you know, I was lucky enough. I, I put up an Instagram. What did you say? Thirty four hundred profit. Thirty six. What was it? Yeah, just over thirty three. It's about thirty three. So on seven. average, you know, you've been betting for now ten weeks. I was doing like, I was doing like Dutch bets for like fifty, eighty, a hundred bucks each way, and losing like you know eight bucks, like, ten like, bucks, like seven, eight, yeah, ten. Yeah. Time. So, and it's like, yeah, bro. But if you know, if you're having twelve dollars on each team or whatever, it is fifteen dollars on each team. Yeah. You understand that that two percent less that you're. Trying you sometimes can. struggle to find on those smaller bookies. Yeah, as well. that's it. You'd look at it and be like, you know, this is a. And before you invest in it, all this stuff is not really spoken. Yeah, I was waiting for that to go. Not really spoken about. Uh, it's all right, we'll fix that. We put this in the bloopers after the credits. <laughs> you love the bloopers, eh? <laughs> Mate, the community loves the bloopers. JP fucking loves the bloopers. Mate.